Hey y'all, I just wanted to shoot a quick video to teach you guys how easy it is to install a font from thefont.com into Cricut Design Space. So while you're doing this, you're going to want your Cricut Design Space to either be closed and you'll reopen it once you install it, or you'll just need to click on a new window. So what we're going to do is if you know the name of a font, you can type it in the search bar or you can utilize the different categories to find a font that you like. And really quick, I wanna show you um, how to utilize the settings feature in defont.com. So once you click on a category, you can preview a um, name or a certain text. Maybe you wanna see what your um, kid's name will look like in a certain font and type it here. You can also change the number of fonts that you see per page. And then you can also click show variants. So without clicking show variants, you'll see that the star Jedi is only showing one version of this font. However, if you click the show variants box and you click submit, you can actually see that there is more than one way that the star Jedi font will look. And the same with um, a lot of these other fonts in this category. So I know that I want to download a font called Holiday. So I'm going to type it in the search bar. And once I find the font, I'm going to click on download. Once it downloads, I'm going to double click it. And it'll open up. And I will click on the one that says open type font file. So sometimes it'll say true type font file and sometimes you will also have both the true type and the open type font file. Whenever possible you want to click on the open type font file because you will actually have more special characters that you can pick from. So I am going to double click on this and I'm going to click install. Once I've installed it I can go into Cricut Design Space. And I actually already had a window open of Cricut Design Space, so I'm just going to go to File and click on a new window. Once I've done that, I can open up my canvas. I can click on Text. And I will end up going to my System Fonts. And I can search for the font Holiday. I'm going to double click on it. And then I can type out whatever it is that I want it to say. So really quick, if you go to defont.com, you will see that this holiday has all of these um, little like swirly lines, um, curly lines on the end of the Y. Um, so I will link a video in the description box that shows you how to get all of those um, special characters through a free program on your computer. And then lastly, really quick, I want to show you a website called wordmarket.it. So if you type in a word, you can actually see every single font on your computer. I feel like a lot of people don't know about this, and it's the easiest way to find a font that you have. Um, this will not show you the special characters, but it'll give you a pretty good idea as to what a font looks like. So that's all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments or questions that you have below, and I will gladly get back to you. Thank you, and have a good day.